It's the new stranger danger. Technology has created new opportunities for sexual predators online to target our children. It's unthinkable, but thousands of children every year become victims to online predators. Parents must be alerted to the reality that this is not rare. In fact, dangerously common. So what is grooming and how do predators lure our children? Grooming is the action by a pedophile of preparing a child for a meeting, especially via an internet chat room, with the intention of committing a sexual offence. According to the Internet Crimes Against Children, there are six steps to grooming the child. First, they appear familiar by setting fake accounts and creating conversations that are in trend with the child's age group. Many predators pose as children or even of the opposite gender. Predators can also be female. Second is to develop trust by becoming a listener to the victim and preying on their insecurities. They then establish secrecy in which the predator is able to control the grooming process. They erode barriers by exposing the child to pornography, then asking for their inappropriate photos. Once the predator has information and images of the victim, they use direct intimidation, threatening the child if they do not comply by their wishes. And finally, meeting the child is the ultimate goal, with the predator intending to sexually abuse the victim. Unfortunately, many parents are in the dark when it comes to their child's online activities. As parents, we need to be acutely aware of who our children are talking to. Monitoring your child's phone usage from their camera, web browsing history, games to social media conversations is crucial. With these disturbing findings, what proactive measures can parents take to protect our minors? First, keep all screen devices in high traffic area of your home, such as the living room, so the screen is not concealed from view. Regularly access your child's social media and gaming sites to see what they are posting and who they are communicating with. Consider installing filtering and monitoring software on digital devices. Many children are unaware of online dangers. Teach your children to never share passwords or personal information about themselves to others online. Instill modesty. Modesty must be embraced in children from an early age. Having the conversation with both our daughters and sons about proper dress and interaction with the opposite gender. The Prophet wasallam said, Verily, there is a hallmark of every religion, and the hallmark of Islam is modesty. Modesty is not just measured upon dress code, but also behavior and interactions with others. This includes online activity. Having frank conversations about body safety, what body parts are prohibited to show others in person and online. Equipping them with the knowledge of what kind of interactions are okay and not okay, and when they should let you know of any potential dangers. It is important that your child knows that they can come to you with any issues and you will validate those concerns and not judge them too harshly. With those lines of communication open, your child may tell you something about what they are doing online that could alert you to the fact that they are being groomed. If your child does approach you with any concerns, please take them seriously. Child psychologists warn that false reports are highly, highly unlikely. Children don't invent stories about sexual abuse. It does not exist in the realms of their imagination, nor is it part of their fitra. And last, dua. Dua is miraculous. The Prophet wasallam told us, the dua of the parent is accepted. Call out to Al-Muhaymin, the protector, the one who ensures well-being and protection over his creation. Parenting in the tech world is not easy. It is challenging as parents to find a balance between keeping them safe and equipping them in the digital future. However, remember we must take ownership of being the parent as we are responsible for their well-being and safety. May Allah protect our children from all forms of evil. If you enjoyed this video and other content One Path Network produces, please visit OnePathNetwork.com. For as little as a dollar a day, you can help in spreading beneficial content across the globe. Thanks for your support, guys.